Hello guys, I'm Nilufar Zakir and in this tutorial we will see how to make a rectangle with ghpython component. First, let's review the process of making a rectangle with two points in Rhino. First, create a point like here and here. Then by using rectangle command Clicking on the first point, you see a rectangle is created depending on wherever I click. So if I click here, the rectangle is created with having two points. And actually the rectangle has four vertices, but we could create it with having two of them. Let's see how we can do this in Grasshopper with Python component. To understand the philosophy behind creating a rectangle with two points i want to show you something consider this as the coordinate plane if you have a point here and another point is here the coordinates of the first point is two and five and the coordinates of the second point is 4 and 1. To make a rectangle with having two points, we need to find other two points depending on the coordinates of these first two points. If you try to consider the coordinates of point 3 and 4, you need to think about the coordinates of points 1 and 2. So as you can see, x of point 3 is the same as x of point 1. y coordinate of point 3 is the same as y coordinate of point 2. Then x coordinate of point 4 is the same as x coordinate of 2. y coordinate of Point 4 is considered as the same as point 1. Now we know these information, so we can find the coordinates of each point here. Point 3 will have 4 as x and 5 as y. And then point 4 will have 2 as x and 1 as y. We could get the coordinates of two other points with help of first two points given. First, I want to show you how to get access to the coordinates x, y, and z in a point separately. Point is considered as a list of points. So to access to x coordinate, you need just to say that the first item in the list of points and we learned to access to an item in the list we need square brackets then if I test it and create a point here right click set one point and set this point here and declare that it will Go with type hint of point 3D and change the input to the point name. And now test the code. If I connect a param to A, you see now I could access A, which is x coordinate of point. We know that a point called PT is created by three coordinates like these integers. So to get access to each of them that are considered as a whole list of PT in GH Python, we need to say that we want the first item, the second item, or the third item by considering their indices. Now we want to make a point and for this we need to import the Rhino script syntax library as rs. 
I want to create the two other points that we don't have by the coordinates of the two points that we have. So we have PT1, we also have PT2, but PT3 and PT4 are the ones that we need to find. So to make a point, we need to do rs.addPoint, open parenthesis. We'll tell you that you need three numbers or three integers or floats as x, y, and z coordinates. For point 3, we know that the x coordinate is the same as point 1. Okay, so pt1 x coordinate and then pt2 y coordinate and for all of the points i will consider z as zero and save all of the result in pt3 then we need pt4 that will be rs dot add point then it is pt2 x coordinate and then pt1 y coordinate first let's test if these points are working correct this one should be called pt1 and it is considered as a point 3d also we need pt2 that would be a point 3d then control c control v and connect it right click and set one point and set another point we had in rhino if i create pt3 and pt4 now let's test the code Okay, now I should delete it. So we got two other points. To create a line, we need to say rs.addLine. And for example, if I say pt1 and pt3 and save it as ln1 and create ln1 here, if I test the code and go to Rhino, you see we have a line between point 1 and point 3. Now another line will be created by rs.addLine between pt3 and pt4 and create ln2 here as an output and test the code so we got the diameter change the number of points like two and four would be better yes and then another line would be rs.addLine with point three and point two and let's create ln3 here and test the code another line is created and the last one will be ln4, that would be rs.addLine, and then pt4 to pt1. And if I create ln4 here and test the code, you'll see we have all the four lines. Okay, this is a good way to create a rectangle and practice creating line and rectangles. But now I want to show you something else using a for loop. Before going to a for loop, we need to create a list of points we have. So PTS, that is short term of points. This one is the first point. And this one is the second point. And then we have the third point and fourth point. And again, this should get back to the first point. So first PT1. And then because this point is considered as the second item that the line should go into, PT3 would be the second item. 
in the list, PT3. And then PT3 should be connected to PT2. And then finally we have PT4 and it should get connected to PT1 again. For I in range 3, colon enter. RS dot add a line with the first item in PTS to the second item in PTS. The first item PTS I to the second item PTS I plus one. And if I save it as A and create A here, test the code. You see we got one line because we created a variable and each time in the for loop the variable is deleted and another line is created. But if you use a.append the whole phrase and then create a as an empty list, you will have the other lines too. And if I change 3 to 4, you see we have another line to close the rectangle so i used four because we have four points and if you want to create two lines of it you can use two with three three lines of it and four four lines of it and it is important to pay attention that you need the last point because the last point is saying that you want to close the rectangle it is amazing that we have just two points in Rhino and with changing any of them we can manipulate the rectangle and get a great shape.